Alright, we are now going to begin building the full armor Gundam Thunderbolt kit. We're going to begin with, of course, the uh, torso and the head. And uh, I checked every part, make sure I have everything here. In case I missed something, obviously I'll stop and look around, but I think I got everything. So. From here, in the assembly of the area of the uh, upper part of the body, up to here, the next part, well, actually everything was done, but then uh, continuing the manual, you have this part here, which has to be like in this position, then you have the two red parts, which took me a, a while to remove from the last time I, I put them on. But, Put them on easily. It's a little too shiny though. Needs to be dull co coated. So, leave that there. Connect that to here. Actually, let me remove this just in case. And we have this part of the shoulder. Let me see how this works. I want to make sure I'm doing this right. I'm going to go there. And that one. Come on. That one goes there. Alright, then we have the back part. Hmm. That didn't feel right. Okay, I'm sorry, that's right. Alright, so there we go. And put these two together like so. Are you kidding me, right? This is one shade darker than the other? Ah, hopefully the armor will cover that up. Alright, put this one here. That's good. I think. Then we have the red part that goes here. Snaps into place. Then we have the vent, the red vent that goes here. Goes there. Then going back to this part, we have the blue part here. It goes there. I already put this there already. Put this one here. That completes that. Turning this around. The backpack I already did uh, pre-assembled and I put the thruster part here, or the red ones, which would have been a pain in the ass to do either way, so I put them on just in case. It goes there. And then we have this part for the beam saber. Maybe I should have put this on before, but that's no, okay. There we go. So that completes the torso. Let's now assemble the head. Now, originally I thought I had to paint this, but and interesting how it's going to work if somebody decides to LED this. I mean, they could always omit this, this, um, the, the, the uh, emergency pod and put an LED wire so they could light up through here. I'm surprised that they didn't think about that, but who knows. But I'm removing this because I'm putting on these parts, the yellow one, for the gold. And then. Slide this through here, like so. Slide this in here, like so. Then, before we put that, we take this part off apart, so we can put him here. 
this one here, then the face mask. Oops, the other way around. Ooh. Huh. Ooh, this thing is. Alright, there we go. There we go. Okay. Um, then there's this little part here which comes with stickers where you can either have the option of putting inside this shield or outside. I decided to put it on the inside. Um, then I put this one there, like so. Paper. Page, I mean. And then we have, I already put this one there, but, so we put this one over it like so. Oh, I almost forgot about these two. All right. Can I put them on without? There's one. Find a notch for that hole. There we go. There's the other. And we have this part that goes there, snaps into place. We have this part that goes there, snaps into place. And we have this little antennae. Antennae. That's it. And put the head on. Might as well. Alright. There it is. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? Hopefully, uh, I don't have to worry about this, but if I have to, I may have to paint that. But I'll leave it the way it is for now. All right, head and torso are done. Let's now move on to the next part of the build. Now, we're going to be assembling the arm of the full armor. And this is, of course, where we introduce these little um, tube-type, fabric-type things. Now, there are two of these. One's a short version, while the other one's the long version, as you can see there. There's no identifying markings on the bag, and it doesn't show, maybe it does explain it on the manual, but I don't read Japanese, and yeah, I know that there are software that you can actually go in and read, but to tell you the truth, I think it's referring to the short one, because if I expand this out a bit, look how long it is. So, it is the short one. The long one is going to be for the legs, so we're going to put that to the side. Now, taking one of these parts from the stand, which I did paint, um, primed uh, gloss black a bit. I'm gonna open this up. Come on, there we go. Level the toothpick a bit. Stick that in like that. put it in like this and according to this you're supposed to crumple 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 this while in the bag makes and while in uh, in this tube uh, or stand makes it a lot easier to do it I guess on this than doing it on a uh, you know the actual part itself there it is so we take it out all properly, put it to the side, and then figure out the orientation of this because obviously you need to make sure where it bends. Put it in like that here. And 
Now, this part here, I want to wrap it around here. And we have this little part where it has to be in this position. And then you put it in through like that. Actually, you know what? You may want to give it a little slack. Just a little. And stick that in through here. A little bit of excess of, um, excess of, um, plastic sticking out would be okay because you're gonna snip it off whether with the hobby knife let me get the good one Don't tell me the fire department is going to be driving right by my house. It do, they do this all the time. So hang on a second. Okay, they pass by. All right, so that's in there. Now we take this arm. Yeah, I'm not going to pause this video again if the fire department passes by again. So all right. Looks like more than one uh, one department's going through. So you put that in here. There she goes. And then before you close this, let's wait. guys I'm in a hurry all right go do your job all right so now we put the um, this plastic part here then we'll close it up maybe a little bit more oh that's fine that's fine that's fine here we go now we can close it up Yeah, I have a feeling I may have to go back. Uh, shoot. Something else must be jammed up in there, but I don't see it. Shoot. Let's do that again. Cut it some slack a bit. There we go. It'll probably be a lot easier that way. And then we'll scrunch it up a little bit more. Much better, I think. No? What the hell? Maybe it's this part. Let's give me that. We're going to turn it a bit. It is all the way in. Alright, I believe it's in, but... Okay, we'll use this in here to keep the parts together. 
There we go. Alright, so that's in here. And it can bend. So now I'm going to bend it a little bit up to there because we need to find the two holes in here. Okay, we got that hole, and I believe that's the hole for that one. So we stick it in there. And the same hole true for the other side. There we go. So bring it down like that. Now, do this because I need to grab this guy. And if I'm seeing the positioning of this. Where the heck is that? It has to be this way. All the way. A little screen. All right, that's fine. Then, since this is the left arm, flip this around like so. this a bit, feed it through this part until it goes all the way in. Come on, get in there. Clearly, they gave you extras in case you rip it and make mistakes. Right now, I haven't done not one mistake on this, so that's good. And then, where is the... Oh, I pulled this one out. I pulled it, I, I'm missing another part here, which is the um, for the hand. I thought of that. Out here, so I apologize for that. Okay, I was able to find the part. So, we take this part here, put it in like so. Now, this is the inside of the palm, so the thumb goes here. If it goes in there, Come on. There we go. Then we have the hand goes right there. The part, the the part of the hand. I'm going to use the open hand. Obviously, that we have uh, parts for the the grip and the fist and all that stuff. So we'll use this for now. And now I'm noticing that obviously, even though I painted the thumb pretty well, the ball is not painted and it shows white. So I'm going to use a Later on, I'm going to get my paints again, uh, thin it down a bit, and use a brush, and then dab on areas that I think I missed. So, that's good. Now we put that here. That's cool. And there you go. So, here are both hand arms. This one's a little scrunched up a bit too much. I'm, 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 uh, let me do this now before I forget. I'm going to take this off. Pull this one out a bit and then give it a lot more slack. Even though this thing has now been permanently punched in, I think you need to remember to give it a little more slack before you put put that in there. Yeah, that's it. And then that goes in. And then uh, I didn't cut it yet because I wanted to show you these before I do. And then I'll cut it with a um, with a hobby knife or a uh, a regular scissor as per the instructions. So now this thing is going to be a pain in the ass to put in again. Wow, this thing is tough. There we go. So I'm just going to. I'm not going to waste my time on this. I'll do it in a minute, but you know, just so you guys see what I'm doing. But there, the uh, this part is now complete. 
I know I'm, this is going to annoy me, but again, that will be armored up, so you won't probably see this either way. But yeah, that this came out good. And it, it's a unique idea, just a little time consuming, a little bit of work. Um, that's why they gave you extra of these little plastic, you know, because you may end up making this mistake or ripping it. So I'm surprised I was able to get it on the first try. Hopefully I don't have that problem with the leg, which we'll go on to next. Because you only get two for the legs, and we'll cover that soon enough. So, this is done. Let's now move on to the next part of the build.